I am then going live in 10, 9, 8. Hey world, it's Tobo. It's July 20th, 2013, and welcome back to the party. In exciting news, Warning Track has agreed to cast with me on Tuesday. Now, we still haven't done the logistics testing and stuff like that, but that will probably be happening, so that's awesome. I'm really excited about that. I've been withdrawn a few times, and that's been a massive blast to do. It's been so much fun. So, I'm assuming doing it with Warning Track can be really fun as well. So, I'm really excited about that. Today, we are watching Drawn Onward versus Wodar. Um... I'm assuming all of you know Drawn Onward, because he's Drawn Onward. If you don't know Ro Wodar, um, he was... I'd call him an intermediate player not too long ago, but lately he has been playing a ton. He has been playing so much, trying to get himself to ninth place. I don't know why ninth place, but ninth place is where he's going. Um... He's been streaming a lot, too, so quite likely you've seen what's been going on with that. Uh, so, it's exciting, and he faced off against Drawn Onward, and now I'm casting it. So, uh, without further ado, let's get into that. We're starting out on Panopticon, uh, any five of six, no swap. Let's see how this goes. Wodar as the sniper, drawn onward as the spy, scoreboard, incoming, there we go, got that to work. So, once again, no swap is an interesting choice. Let's see how this plays out. Looks like drawn onward is going to see if he can get a microfilm in here fairly quickly. Actually walks away with it, which is an interesting choice. I find that slightly surprising. But, we'll see where Drawn Onward takes this, because Drawn Onward tends to be pretty good with these things. Hell, Drawn Onward just tends to be pretty good. Unless he's feeling particularly silly, in which case terrifying things happen. So, looks like Drawn is gonna... Is he not going to go for the microfilm? No, he's just going to put that right back. That's a, that's an interesting one. So, with about a minute gone, Drawn Onward hasn't actually done anything yet. That's all right. Stepping into a conversation with his seduction target. Not in the best positioning, though. So even if he hits green, he should only get about a third. He does hit green, so he gets about a third. But, Drawn Onward is playing pretty slowly and apparently checking his dashboard mid-game. What are you doing, Drawn? There's a game happening. I... Okay, he's back. Go for the Purloin, actually. That's an interesting choice. As he gulps the drink to try to... Try to hide the fact that he actually purloined. Toby was being decided to be friendly and walk away there. Ah, uh, Wodar though. Wodar's paying attention. Wodar knows. So saw the missing gas list and went. Wait a second. So yeah, uh, Wodar takes the first game um, in fine form. Really, he was doing. He did a pretty darn good job there. Highlight for the. Microfilm that didn't happen, and then shot for the purloin that did. Things went really well. Basically everything Drawn tried, he got caught doing. Which is incredibly impressive, I might add. I mean, it's not like he was playing badly. He was doing a good job of things, but... Woodar was on the ball and perhaps a tad bit lucky, but... Sometimes you kind of have to be on Panopticon. You just have to be looking in the right place at the right time. Wodar played that out very well. And nothing is happening. I'm tempted to try 
skipping ahead to the next game. No, nope, they're getting a move on. Okay. So, looks like it's Mordar's turn to pick up the spiral. I'm assuming we're heading back to Panopticon here. Once again, looks like he's going for any five of six. Knocks off Seduce. Again, that's, that's a rather interesting choice. Now, I haven't really seen enough of this map to figure out what the norm is. I don't even know if there is a norm yet for for the mission to not do. A bit of a pathing issue there, but shouldn't be too big of a problem as he sees if he can get a um never mind apparently that pathing issue was a bit of a pr problem because because he got highlight so head to the bookcase see if you can get some microfilm on actually trying for the hard transfer considering the highlight this could be super bad Because I'm pretty sure Drawn knows where that came from. Ooh, going for the fake BB here. Wait a second, now we got low lit. Did he get low lit for the BB and run? Holy mackerel. I think Wodar just may have pulled something amazing. Wodar is. Very much low lit. That's awesome. All right, we've got two missions done. It's a minute and thirty gone. Whoa, okay, ambassador decided to get a bit snugly there. That was kind of worrying. All right, let's take a breather. Figure out what we're going next. Uh, statues seem like a good option. Uh, Soda's going for the bug. Purloin is a little risky, but Purloin is always risky. We're actually calling Toby over, so it does look like we're going to see if that we can get that Purloin going. We are still low lit. No, actually just, just refuses the drink, so that was just accounting for options, I suppose. So, what's Wardar going to do? He's down to a minute and 30, got three missions left to do. And Badastor, oh that's awesome. That is so awesome. Got away with the bug really nicely there. And he steps into the statues to swap and inspect. Got a little freaked out when the swap came early. Especially since he's holding it up like that, but I know how hard the statue is to see on this map. He's gonna hold it for an extra cycle to see if he can get away with it. Three seconds left on the clock. If he just stands there, he should be able to get this done. And he does get away with it. Now, I don't know why I got so worried about the swap at the end there, because he was in fact low lit, but. I. He did get low lit for the BB and run. It does look like the BB and run is what got him low lit. I don't know why I'm not using the term banana split. That is such an awesome term. I really should be using it. Um, so I lost my train of thought. Something about Panopticon. I don't know. Let's get to the next game. Okay. Um, right. So, what are is up 2-0 after the first couple of games on Panopticon. Looks like we're gonna see if he can pull ahead even farther here. Draw onward, picking up the spiral once again. Wodar as the sniper. Let's see how this goes. All right, so 
what are we looking at here? Well, looks like we're starting off on the blue side. Just hanging out in the conversation. Not doing a whole lot right off the bat, just weighing options and looking around. There are a few places he could go from here. I'm not sure where he's actually moving to. Apparently he just decided he didn't want to be on the blue side anymore. And we're going to get... Oh god! That was a weird entry. But we're going to try to... Nope! We're not going to seduce. <laughs> Drawn onward. Drawn onward continues his rivalry with the seduction targets. We're not going to purloin. That was actually a fast refusal. And Wodar knows it, so he actually highlight Drawn for that. Drawn's got to be a bit careful about those. Now that Purloin is a thing, you've got to be a lot more delicate with how you handle Toby, because he's being watched. Steps in to see if he can get a bug planted, but he cannot get a bug planted, because the laser was right there. I think... I think Wodar's actually fairly confident at this point. It's a little bit difficult to tell on Panopticon though. Just because it's such a new map. Alright. Drawn grabs a book and tries to walk away with it. That's... Ooh. I think Wardar knows. Wardar does indeed know! Goes up by three! Wow, Wodar. Wodar is on his game tonight. Man. It's the little things. This high level of play, um, it's really the little things you have to be careful about. Like, honestly, the thing that really lost drawn that game was... Was uh, refusing the drink a bit too quickly. It's just, it's these tiny little things that most people just don't notice that when you get really good at Spy Party, become really bad. So, I can't do this stuff. This is really impressive to me. So, let's watch Wodar pick up the Spy Roll this time around and see if he can. Pull a fourth game out of his hat. He's been having a real good set so far. Let's see if he can keep it up. This is cool. I don't really watch much, much of Mordar's stuff, but I'm liking what I see so far. I'll have to cast him more often. Alright, so, once again... Any five of six, getting rid of seduction. This could be good, could be bad. I don't know. Let's find out. Wodar starts things off at statues, takes a highlight for it, but gets a swap as compensation. A free swap in exchange for a highlight. I can't tell whether or not that's a good trade or not. Well, we shall see. He's got one and two-thirds missions done really fast. He's in a position where he might be able to get a bug off, too. Doesn't look like he's in the mood to try that, though. Goes for the purloin, and then the banana bread to distract! Drawn's laser was right there, though, but Toby's tray is obstructed by the pillar. Oh, Drawn saw it. Yep, Drawn knew. Drawn figured that one out, so. Wodar. Still doing a pretty damn good job of things. Like, he's still up by two after four games. Which is pretty darn good. Um, I'm really liking how Wodar is playing. That game... Uh, 
trying to figure out. That early highlight is so difficult to deal with. I really like the um, the banana bread right after the purloin, but drawn drawn was paying too much attention. Well, let's get another game. Drawn on the spy this time, more on sniper. Let's see if Drawn can start making a comeback here. Either way, it should be fun. Drawn once again taking out the swamp. really interesting. I find that strange. Well, because, like, right at the end, because the sniper can't see what the statue is until you've walked away from it, it's almost like a free mission if you do it right at the end. But, on the flip side of that, having swap statue in the rotation makes anyone who goes to statues in the late game the, like way more suspicious so if you're already fairly suspicious and then go to the statues at the end it could lose the game for you so so it's a trade-off and apparently a trade-off that drawn doesn't want to make so he just takes it out of the pool so starting a game on Panopticon any five of six with no swap drawn as the spy Wodar picking up the rifle. As drawn goes for the early flirt, but doesn't quite manage the green test. So one third of that finished up. Let's see how this goes. Drawn continues to flirt. Again, doesn't quite hit the green test. That's okay. You might be able to get a twitch flirt off. Actually, double agent steps in the convo. <coughs> Never mind. Drawn Onward leaves. He does not feel like contacting the double agent at this time. He's going to go inspect statues instead. So, it's a couple of easy inspect off, inspects off. No highlight yet, so that's pretty good. No missions done. A couple missions close. Oh god, the pathing. Oh god. Would our see it? Wodar did see it. Wodar totally saw that. Come on, Drawn. You're better than this. You're usually really good with your pathing. What's going on? So, Drawn heads to the bookcase. Wodar starting to get a little bit nervous about the lady in the red dress. The lady in the red dress just puts that book down. Doesn't want any of that. Steps back in to see if he can finish up this flirt. And he does. That's pretty easy. Ooh, Perloin here could spell the death of him, and he knows it, so he's not going to do that. That Perloin would have been way too dangerous. Minute and 30 to go. As Drawn moves in to finish up his second mission here. This is going to be a difficult match to win. Three highlights at the moment. Apparently no top suspects though. Drawn onward. Two missions done and a minute to go. Might have to go for the purloin. He knows it. I think he's gonna go for it. He does not. 45 seconds left. This is going to be a really difficult match to win. 
Okay, he is going for the purloin now. He knows he doesn't have time. Double agent deciding to be super friendly. Now all he has to do is bug. He's got 30 seconds to do it. But, Wodar finds the purloin. Takes the shot. Drawn onward, man. Is not having a good time with that purloin. It's just not working out for him. Wodar's doing a really good job of spotting that. It's, it's a scary mission, to be sure. But Wodar... Wodar makes it an even scarier mission. Which is... Which is kind of awesome. Drawn keeps trying it. And it keeps not working. So... One of these days, Drawn is going to have to make the adjustment and just not. Wardar is up 4-1 to one at the moment. About to put on his spy shoes. And start this game off. So, let's have a look here. Wardar taking things nice and easy early on. Not rushing anything. Not trying to get anything quickly. So, let's find out exactly where he's headed. He's not really headed anywhere yet. He's just spending a bit of time being inconspicuous. Now, when you see things like this on the sniper cam, it starts to feel like spending a bit of time being inconspicuous is a good thing. Drone already has a couple of highlights under his belt. Probably not very solid highlights, but highlights nonetheless. As Wodar decides to step in. Uh-oh, 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 this could be bad. There's the cough. Time for Drawn Onward to start low-lighting everything! Wodar takes a big highlight. Drawn didn't low-light nearly as much as I thought he would. He was surprisingly conservative with that. Wodar may have caught a bit of a break there. He did take a... He did take the highlight, but... Ooh! Hits the green on the purloin. That could save him. That could really save him. I don't know if Drawn is going to remember who the last person to grab a drink was, but... Wardar should be able to pick up a pair of inspects here. Drawn Onward has like a billion highlights. Purloin. Guest list has been purloined. Does Drawn notice? Oh yeah, Drawn sees it. Wardar swap just swaps the statue and runs for it. I don't think Drawn... Drawn sees it right at the end there. Wodar picks up another game. Wow. Wodar. Wodar is acing this. This is impressive. He's only dropped one game out of the first six? Jeez. Drawnward. Drawnward. That's... I called him Drawnward. I've never done that before. Drawn onward is... He's got some catching up to do. It's gonna be it's gonna be a bit of a tough one, but hopefully Hopefully he'll be able to find his stride. It's his turn to pick up the spiral. Let's see if he can start a comeback here. He's gonna need to start picking up games soon or things are gonna spiral out of control way too fast. Drawn onward, knocking off inspect. Huh. That is a very interesting choice. Let's see how this plays out. So, 
Run onward. Starts things off, taking control fairly quickly. In contact with the double agent, but there are so few people in conversation, you can't really... Can't really take advantage of that, and he knows it, so he's just going to try to grab some flirts early on instead. Doesn't hit the green test, that's okay. No highlights yet. Already a low light, though, so... That's pretty... That's pretty interesting. It's always good to start racking up low lights early, because the more you get, the less you have to look at, and the... And the sooner you can start having to look at less things, the better as a sniper. It really, really helps you focus. So, draw onward. Doesn't really have a whole lot done yet. With a minute gone, he has one flirt and is in the process of getting another. Does hit the green this time, so one more flirt from anywhere. We'll finish that up. Takes the green purloin and bolts. That is a bold move, but it looks like looks like it's gonna work really nice. Toby right now is on the other end of the map. Purloin has gone off. Guest list is gone. Wodar sees it. I'm pretty sure. But drawn onward is way the hell out of harm's way. That was one of the nicest purloins I've seen in a long time. I and then and then fake banana bread. That is interesting. So with one mission done, almost two, two minutes to go. Drawn's gonna have to start moving quickly, but he he's not highlit. So he's doing a damn good job of things. And considering Purloin is the one he's got done, this is looking good for Drawn. So, like, uh-oh. Uh-oh. 32. Wow, that was weird. Um, okay. So, Sniper Stream's at a minute and 32. About 10 seconds off. Drawn finishes up his flirt there. Synced back up again. Everything is fine. I fixed it. So with two missions done and a minute and 20 to go, it's going to be tough, but it's certainly doable, especially considering he hasn't taken any highlights yet. As he goes to get that banana bread off. There's the BB. What are... We're having a few lowlights. There were a few he could have taken, but didn't, surprisingly. Maybe he just wasn't quite confident enough. Drawn goes for the bug! Drawn misses the bug! Those drive-by bugs when you're both walking different directions are so hard to hit. Drawn goes for the bug again! Drawn misses the bug again! Oh god, that looked really suspicious. No highlight yet, though. I was sure the laser saw that. Draw goes for bug attempt number three and gets it. 26 seconds to go and one mission to do. He's got to either microfilm or swap a statue. I think he's going to go for the statue. This is a good idea considering he's not high lit yet. Wodar's not going to have enough to shoot off of as he goes for the swap. Wodar takes a shot somewhere else. And Drawn picks up his second game of the night. Score is 5-2 to two at the moment in favor of Wodar. But Drawn played that game out so freaking well. That was an amazing game except for the two bug fails. It was like freaking awesome. That was one of the nicest games on Panopticon I've seen in a while. Then again, there have been a few pretty nice ones I've cast, but that is that is certainly up there. That was really nice. So, five to two is where we're at right now. Uh, drawn, having just picked up a game, 
might start finding some momentum if you can grab one more. We'll see how this goes, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping a comeback is underway because that makes things more interesting to watch. Uh, we're about half an hour in. I'm not starting the next game, so I, st I have to I have to continue saying things until the next game happens. This is where this is where casting with friends is nice because it's easier to talk about things with other people than on your own. So so hopefully on Tuesday when I cast with warning track, this won't be as big of an issue. I'm just I'm just gonna skip ahead. Just find where the next game starts because they're not doing anything. Next game is still on Panopticon. Uh, Woodar as Spy getting rid of Seduce, interestingly enough. Looks like we're almost ready to go here. Alright. Woodar as Spy, drawn onward as Sniper. And away we go. Now, Wodar has been doing a pretty darn good job as Spy, so... Let's see how he plays this out. Right off the bat with a fake banana bread. That should get drawn three, I think, lowlights, but... He only manages to pick up on, two, on one of them, so... That's a little bit... It's a little bit unfortunate. So. Ooh, going for the swap early. That's a bit of a ballsy move, but hitting the green test will certainly help things out. Going for all three inspects as well. I don't know if that was too many cycles. I wasn't paying enough attention, but. Drawn wasn't paying enough attention either, so it doesn't really matter. He's got his inspects done. He's got his swap pending. Is he going to purloin here? Holy mackerel, Woodar is playing this game on the edge. The swap and the purloin go off at the same time, and he goes for a banana bread to distract from both. But that was probably bad because the guy who just swapped the statue is now low lit. On the flip side, three missions done. No highlight. Swap and Purloin both complete. Wodar is destroying this. Goes for the bug, gets it. If he can hit this hard transfer, man. If he gets this without dying. That was probably the fastest game of Panopticon I've ever seen. Holy mackerel, that was fast. That was really fast. Ron wins a game and Wodar's like, no, no, no. You don't get to win games. And just does that to like put Ron in his place. That was, that was a mind-blowingly good game. Um, I'm going to be honest, the fake BB to mask the green swap I didn't like because again it made the guy who swapped the statue get low lit but like I said as soon as the statue swapped the purloin happened literally within a second and then right after that he goes for the fake BB to distract and it it worked like a charm like, sure, it got the guy low lit, but it did exactly what he wanted it to. And then suddenly he had three missions done, and there's the ambassador. So if I just grab a book on the way, that's game. That was, a, that was beautifully done. Maybe I... Maybe yesterday's newbie cast kind of... Kind of spoiled me. Well, what's the opposite of being spoiled? Yesterday's newbie cast did that because 
the games I'm see- some of the games I'm seeing from the spy side are blowing me away, and I don't know if that's just me being whatever the opposite of spoiled is, or it's because they're just really good games. But wow. I probably normally wouldn't have gone on that long about it, but they weren't doing anything. They're still not, so I have to keep saying things. Come on, guys. Start playing Spy Party. I mean, I love you, but jeez. Come on. Come on, press the button. You know you want it. You know you want to press it. It's, your, your mouse is right there. It's right there. Just click. Just, just, just click. It's even blinking red at you. You know you want to. Yes! We did it! Alright, alright, <laughs> let's get another game going. Once again, any 5 of 6 on Panopticon. For game number 9. Draw onward as the spy. Wobodar as the sniper. I didn't see what mission was taken out. Uh, looks like no swap. So... John likes to take out Swap. I don't particularly blame him, but... I don't know, Swap has been working pretty darn well for the people who've used it. So John, stepping into the statues to get that first pair of inspects in. Things are going well so far. And again, not a whole lot's happened so far, but we are stepping in to see if he can grab a flirt. Doesn't doesn't hit the green test. That's all right. Not a huge deal. So drawn onward. Looks like he wants to bug here. Never mind. He does not want to bug. And then the AI continues to hate drawn onward. This is something John has to deal with. Looks like he's going to refuse this. He does indeed refuse this. But he took a bit more time that time around, so hopefully he won't get highlight, high lit for it. Either way, I don't think Water was actually looking at it, so that's all right. John stepping in the bookcase. See if he can get some microfilm action going. and steps back in the conversation to flirt. Again, not the best position for it, but... I don't, I don't know why I didn't go closer, but he didn't. Doesn't hit the green test again, so he's at about 50%. Not exactly where you want to be, but not a huge deal. Two minutes to go. No mission's done yet, but he's making some headway. Actually, continues trying to slip over to the red bookcase. Uh, that was weird. Apparently, apparently he really wants to get this flirt done. Oh, I thought he got highlit, but that was red dress that got highlit. Drun doesn't hit the green test, so he doesn't finish his flirt. Gets his, gets his banana bread off, though. But with a minute and 15 to go, that's his second mission, almost trying to be done, but then Wodar's like, no, that's a yellow book, not red, don't put it in there. What are you doing? Don't do that. So, Wodar goes up 7-2. to two. Tron's having issues. Tron really is having issues. Uh, Wodar... Wodar is just really on his game tonight. Like, Drawn just... He, like, he's playing well, but he, he just can't seem to catch a break here. He can't seem to slip one by. Uh, mind you, what he does, he does it spectacularly. But, um... Yeah. He's having problems. What are very much asserting his dominance in this set so far. So, 
with the I mean, with the amount Bornard has been playing, obviously doing him good <laughs> because he's playing fantastically right now. Uh, I've run out of things to say, so I'm going to try to see if I can find the next game. Eh. There you are. Found it. I'm just going to make sure everything's all synced up nicely. So. Come on. There we go. That should... There. That'll sync it up. So, we've got Wodar as the spy this time around, Drawn Onward as the sniper. Current score is 2 to 7. Wodar's favor. Let's see how this goes. Actually goes to the bookcase early. That's a rather interesting move. Doesn't actually do anything with it, though. So, steps in to get a bug. Looks like he should be able to get off, get this off fine. He d does take it. Takes a big highlight for it, though. I think. I think Drawn's worried he caught the end of it. So, Wodar, already highlight, exchange for a bug. Not a good exchange at all. But what can you do? Goes for the banana bread, gets it off. Drawn picks up a low light. Maybe two? Nope, just the one. But Wodar's got two missions done. With a minute and 30 gone. Two minutes and 30 seconds left on the clock. Goes for the purloin, hits the green. That may well have saved his life because Drawn was. Definitely watching that. Wodar. Uh oh. Does Drawn know that was a gulp? Does he know? He's certainly worried about Wo. Yeah. Then. And then the green purloin finished and Wodar died. So, Drawn picks up another game. 3 to 7 is the current scoreline. Mm. And, um. So. After 10 games. Scoreline's 3 to 7. Uh, again, both are doing a damn good job of things, but didn't quite manage to to get things done that time around. I actually got marked suspicious for the bookcase visit. And then and then I think Drawn thought he saw the bug. And then Drawn knew he saw the purloin. So that was I guess you'd call it a series of unfortunate events. Head in the balcony! So, balcony. Drawn onward as the spy. Wodar as the sniper. Time to get a lot of games done really quickly. Because balcony. Alright. Let's see how this goes. Whenever you're ready, Wardar. Whenever you're ready. It's all you, Wardar. As soon as... As soon as you press that button, I'm gonna play some balcony. Whenever you're ready. Alright, here we go. So. A little bit of flirt in action. Starting things off. Not the greatest flirt, but if it's a green test somewhere down the line, it'll make up for that. It 
Double Agent decided he didn't want to be bugged, apparently. That's a bit of a shame. Some very AI-like pathing going on with Red Tight. Drawn Hour takes a drink but does not purloin. Good call. Never mind, purloin is not an available mission. I'm a dumb. So, Drawn Onward hasn't really had a chance to do anything past that first flirt. Second target re enters convo. Not in the greatest of positions. Drawn doesn't quite hit the green test, but maybe he. Wait, did he hit the green test? Because he's at about two thirds. I don't know. I want to say he did. Ambassador gets snuggly. Goes for the contact instead of the bug. Oh, Woder had it down to two and chose wrong. You, Woder. <laughs> you were doing so well, man. Just been a little bit more patient. You could have had that. Flutter was at 61%, so he did need a green test if he wanted to finish that up. Um, my train of thought exploded, so... Drawn is making comeback happen. Because balcony. I should make a t-shirt that says because balcony on it. And then then on the back it'd say that was unfortunate. <laughs> or oh god the pathing. All right, starting things off with the banana bread. And then he has to do a hard tell. Holy crap, this is going to be hard. Not Hylet, but has to do a hard tail. Oh, the Ambassador! No! Draw on what ain't gonna let that happen. Bodar! Oh, goes for the bug! Doesn't get it! Doesn't get it! Everyone's Hylet, but Bodar! How does that happen? Goes for the perm. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Draw nose. Yep. Draw nose. Draw nose. Going for a two of three without seduce is so freaking hard on this map. Like, that's like, doesn't make sense hard. Why do people do that? I don't get it. Probably because it's fun and silly and stuff. But that, that is such a difficult set to win. And Wodar almost did it. Wodar almost did it. If he'd done the bug thing a little bit sooner. Before the ambassador ran away, would have won, would have got it done, because he went for the bug right in front of the laser, and even though it didn't take, he didn't die for it, so I'm assuming if he did it a bit second earlier, he would have got it. Would have got it, didn't get it, drawn onwards turn as the spy. Wodar picking up the sniper, current score is 5-7, to seven. drawn onward is comebacking. And not taking control yet, interestingly enough. So, drawn onward to... He continues to not taking control yet. I'm going to switch to the other side, because drawn onward... Is really... Really committing to this whole not taking control yet thing. Gets himself low lit for hella AI pathing. Ooh. 
One minute to go. Game is halfway done. He is the only low light. There are two highlights. Probably going to go for the banana bread at some point. He has taken control like just now. He's probably just going to hang out in conversation here, wait for the opportune moment, and then banana bread. The opportune moment is probably now. He takes it. There's the BB, there's the bullet, there's the win for Mr. Onward. And he's brought the game back within one, so... Because Balcony, drawn onward, decides it's comeback time. We now have a one-point match. So, this is getting exciting. Bodar picking up the spiral this time. Which means drawn onward is sniping. Any two of three, no purloin. Let's get this done. All right. That is a fantastic position to be in. Just, just straight up, that, that's the money right there. So, there's the BB. There were like three people talking. So Drawn gets himself Hylet, so does Mr. McGee. Mr. McGee runs away, Drawn Onward bugs, and just wins the game. We're all tied up at seven, ladies and gents. That was one of the ballsiest bugs I have ever seen because the laser was there. But it worked. So, yes. More balcony. We're all tied up at seven. Wodar won Panopticon in flying colors. Drawn Onward is winning balcony. Flying colors. Drawn onward as. Wait a second. Wait a second. I screwed that up, didn't I? I was Wodar playing spy and drawn as sniper. Because Wodar wouldn't be playing sniper two games in a row. So that was Wodar's ballsiest bug ever. I am such a dumb sometimes. Well, let's fix the scoreboard. Current score is 6 to 8. Sorry, I'm not very bright at times. But it's better now. So, I apologize. Let's get this underway. Game has started. Ah, I'm so bad at this on occasion. So, Drawn Onward starts his actual game as Spy with a really nice in convo seduce. Nice and close, white test, bread and butter, everything's looking good. Now, the ambassador decides to get friendly, so he might. That's a big might be able to get a bug off here. He does not go for it. Goes for a window flirt instead. Actually, does not go for a window flirt. Just goes for a window. Might be able to re-enter in good position to get a flirt in. Does not. Goes for the inconspicuous spot instead. And then Ambassador decides to get snuggly. And then leaves. And then the seduction target dies, and Drawn Onward gets a point that's actually his this time. Current score is 7 to 8 in favor of Wodar. We're not tied yet. We're not. Never happened. So. 
So, yeah. Wodar apparently decided someone else was a spy. That could be an issue. So, what have we got? We've got Wodar at 8, Drawn Onward as 7, Wodar's turn to play the spy here on Balcony. No purloin, so we're going, going classic Balcony here. You're going to be ready, Drawn. All right, here we go. Starts things off at the window. With a slight pathing hitch that was very well hidden. Steps into conversation for a nice flirt. Didn't hit the green test, which is a shame, but able to get things done pretty well. If Drawn wins this game, we'll have an actual real tie. Wodar is the spy drawn on where it is sniper I don't remember if I said that or not Wodar grabs his contact so the minute and 15 to go he's got one flirt and his contact done drawn onward does not have him highlight never mind he's the only person who's highlight I'm bad at this sometimes so, Wodar is high lit. There's a minute to go and two flirts to. to. do, damn it. Flotation decides to be really friendly though. Drawn is sniper. I don't know why I keep saying drawn. Uh, but drawn does in fact shoot someone else. So, Wodar. Um, what our wins that game? I'm gonna go for four more games that'll put us at an even twenty before I cut things off. Uh, so current scoreline is nine to seven in favor of Wodar. Got a two-game gap, but this is balcony, and anything can happen. And we know Drawn's fairly good at balcony, so. I wouldn't be too surprised to see this end in a tie. You know, considering. So, drawn onward, picking up the spiral this time around. Wodar as the sniper. I keep getting who's playing what role confused for some reason. I hope I haven't actually screwed up the scores other way, other than the one that Wodar kindly pointed out in all caps and I got really confused about. Um, but it looks like we're ready to go into game number 17. Drawn onward as spy, Wodar as sniper. No seduce, no seduce, no seduce. Drawn, what are you doing, man? Why aren't you seducing? Why is there no seduce, Drawn? What are you doing, man? Alright. Minute and twenty to go. Banana bread and a hard tell to do. What are you doing, man? Freaking me out, man. So, what have we got here? One minute down, nothing's happened yet. 
Haven't really had a good chance to do anything. You have a chance to bug, but Wodar is staring directly at it. 40 seconds to go. Nothing's happened yet. 30 seconds. Gotta do something, Drawn. Here comes the double agent. There's the green purloin. This could be huge. 17 seconds to go. Here's the contact. There's the green BB. Okay, this is scary. Mission win is pending, so it's going to go into overtime. And Drawn is the only one not highlight. Purloin has occurred. There's the shot. Drawn wins that game. It's a one-point match with three more games to go. That game was freaking awesome. I don't usually say games on balcony are freaking awesome, but that was one. That was a cool game. I like that. Purloin is probably as viable as balcony on balcony as it is on any other map, which is kind of amazing. So, let's get back to it. Three games to go. Eight to nine is the current scoreline with Wodar in the lead. Let's see how long that lasts. It's the draw onwards turn to pick up the sniper rifle. Wodar as the spy, let's see how this goes. Wodar gets the bug and gets a highlight. Goes, goes for the banana bread, this could be bad. Does draw onward? No. It looks like he's thinking about it. I don't think he's gonna shoot. He does shoot! Oh my god, Drawn has actually tied it up for real this time. It actually happened. It wasn't just something I made up because I was confused. A tie has occurred. We have two games left. We're tied at nine. Does anybody else feel a draw coming on? This is, in fact, my stream. I don't know why I didn't see this coming. That shot happened with two seconds to go. Maybe more like one and a half. That was... That was impressive. So, drawn onward, picks up the spiral to see if he can surpass Wodar for the first time tonight. Wodar on the rifle, trying to keep his victory alive. And Drawn goes for a really nice window flirt there. But I think it's Highland in the process? No, he doesn't. So... We've got half of the flirt done, a minute and 20 to go. Might be able to finish it up here, but we don't hit the green test. So we're going to need one more flirt. This is a good time to banana bread. Really wanted the green test there. The double talk is not going to work in his favor. Generalissimo takes the highlight. If Drawn can find one more flirt... Fifty seconds. He really wants to wait for snaps to leave, but it might not be in the cards. He might have to. He does leave Convo. Thirty seconds to go. If he steps in and talks quickly, it could be super bad. Not the cleanest entry. Odar has two suspects. Drawn flirts. What the f snaps? That was interesting. Odar doesn't know. 
He doesn't know. Drawn takes the lead. Okay. Okay. What looked like... What? Let's be honest. This looked like it was Wodar's set. After the first nine games, it was 7-2. 7-2. Wardar looked like he had this in the back. Then balcony happened. And drawn onward, managed to climb his way back up and take the lead, dropping only two games on balcony so far. It's currently it's nine to ten in favor of drawn onward with one game to go. Wodar as the spy, drawn onward as the sniper. It's time to finish this up. All right. So, what have we got? We've got what looks like it's going to be an early flirt. It is, in fact, an early flirt. Hit the white test on that, so we are one-third... Done. Not a good position. Ooh, selection target decides to be super friendly, and then Blue Danger snaps, and we might be even be able to get Banana Bread here, but no, Snaps McGee leaves. It's a bit of a precarious position. If Snaps McGee re-enters here. He does indeed. We can go for the um, the contact now. Why aren't we contacting? Now is the time drawn. No, drawn sniper. It's not drawn. Ooh, Wodar doesn't quite hit the green on that last seduce, so he's at like 97%. There's the contact, finally, but two lowlights come out of it. 30 seconds to go, but he's already on countdown. And ladies and gentlemen, Drawn with the magical bullet out of freaking nowhere managed to pull out the set. 11 to 9. That was probably one of the most dramatic finishes I've ever had on this show. That was awesome. I was so sure that was going to be a draw. Yes, Drawn onward pulls out the win. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the show. Thank you for coming out to watch. Um, on Tuesday, uh, it's looking like Warning Track is going to come on the show to cast with me, and that's very exciting. Can't wait for that. Not sure what I'm going to cast yet, but whatever it is, it's going to be fun. Uh, and then Thursday is another standard issue show of normalness. And then back on Friday for the same... Not Friday. Back on Saturday for the same thing all over again. Alright! We did it! I'm done! Thank you guys for coming out, and until next time, this is Toboshi. Signing off.